Hi, my name is Bob Rankin, and you need to join the movement. I've got a great new idea, a new concept for you called trading cards. And it's a wonderful way of doing miniature sketches, thumbnail sketches, and yet joining the movement. Well, what am I talking about? Well, back in 1997, a, a Swiss artist by the name of Vonsi Sternemann came up with an idea that he would do an installation involving 1,200 small miniature paintings. And when they were put together, they all acted as one, and yet on their own, they could stand by themselves. And towards the end of the show, he sent out an email to his fellow artists and friends in Switzerland and said, please come in. When I destroy this final installation, I want you to have part of it. But it has to be an exchange or a trade for one of yours. And the only stipulation was is that they all had to be two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So that's where this whole movement came upon itself by having these trading cards. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I did these all this morning, and because they're so small, they're obviously easy to knock out. And it's a great way of getting your name out into the public, sharing your work with the rest of the world, sending them all over the world. And you can actually now go on the internet there's a great website for trading cards. Um, Swarthmore has come up with a pack of these things. And excuse me, not Swarthmore, that's a college up in upstate New York, I believe. This is Strathmore. Anyway, they've come up with a, a wonderful kit of these small cards. And they're all different types of papers and cards. Um, you've got actual canvas board here. You have some vellum, you have watercolor paper, you have drawing paper. They're all acid free. They're all cut specifically so that they're two and a half by three and a half. And I've experimented on all these different surfaces and they're absolutely terrific to work on. One thing I love about them is after they've dried, regardless how thick you've applied paint, they all flatten out beautifully. Now, in addition to that, they have these individual containers, these plastic sleeves that you can put the work in to protect them. Or, even better, if you've got a friend on the other side of the pond, you can actually use one of their envelopes that are included as part of the set and um, ship them anywhere that you want to go. So, again, I've tried some drawings here, some jazz musicians that I've always worked on. These actually started off during my faculty meetings at a high school where I used to teach. I was bored out of my mind and I wanted to do something to use my time wisely, so I started doing these sketches. I did these miniature landscapes this morning as well, one representing Italy, another one of a coastal scene, and then using the extra paint, I created this really loose, free, fresh abstracts. So think about it. Now, what they recommend is that after you finish, you put your calling card on the back, um, and you can either use a stamp, uh, you can use your internet website or whatever, so other artists that receive these can in turn mail you one of their own. Uh, I think you'd really enjoy doing this. I think you need to get busy on these. It's a great idea, especially in these hard economic times. It's a wonderful way of saving some cost and, and getting a lot of free, wonderful artwork from all over. Hope you enjoy it. I'm Bob Rankin. Keep painting.